All right, this is activity one, uh, lesson one dash one, the basic geometric figures. <clears throat> so as you see, I already have a couple of things written down. Um, in green ink, I'm gonna write how to name and label these geometric figures. Um, in purple ink, also, in quotation marks, I'm going to write what you need to say. So when you speak geometry or when you read it, how are you supposed to interpret these symbols in this notation? That's going to be in purple ink. In black ink, <clears throat> I'm going to write uh, what you write. So what is the notation? What's the shorthand notation for these different geometric figures? In orange ink, I'll have uh, some just important information, uh, just kind of generic um, comments on the material. And then over here on the side, in blue ink, I'll have the definitions. Um, so if you want to go ahead and pause the video and, and, and set your paper up like that, or maybe you want to have different colors just like I am, that's fine. Um, but if not, you can do it all in pencil and, and, and uh, make your own notes. Um, but for this lesson, 1-1, one -one, our learning target. So what are we supposed to know when we're all said and done with this? Well, we need to be able to three things identify describe and name so when you identify you just say like hey there's a ray hey there's a line so on and so forth describe is tell me the characteristics what is uh, an angle consist of um, how many endpoints does a line segment have so on and so forth so you need to be able to describe it and also name it um, and while we do these three things, we always have to use correct notation. Um, and those geometric figures that we're going to be looking at today are points, lines, line segments, rays, and planes. We're also going to be doing um, pretty much the same exact thing with angles as well. But in the next lesson, 1-2, we'll <clears throat> go even further into angles. So let's just get started. Uh, number one, we have this um, geometric figure here. It's represented by a dot. Um, that is a point. And so what you would say when you see this, you would say point Q. <clears throat> um, points are always uh, labeled with a capital print letter. Very important that you know and recognize the difference between a uh, print and a cursive letter. Um, this is a print letter, that's all print, um, but later down here, um, that's cursive, it's loopy, um, some people call it script writing, but when you're talking about a point, it needs to be capital and it needs to be print letters. Um, <clears throat> if you're writing some mathematical statement and you want to say or, or write a, a point, then you simply just Put whatever capital letter that is. So um, you would, whenever you see this, you would read it as point Q. Um, from here on out in geometry class, when you see just a capital letter by itself, um, you need to refer that to as point and whatever that letter is. Um, a point it has no dimensions. There's there's no height. There's no depth. There's no width to it. Um, it's simply there, so no dimensions. Over here on the right, uh, next to point, um, I mean, in order, I mean, <clears throat> just to define it, it's it's pretty basic. It's it's um, a point is simply designating a position in space. Um, and we use a dot to represent that. So just like here, there's a dot there. Um, so if there's not a dot next to a capital letter, um, then, then they're referring to something else. It's not a point. Uh, and we'll, we'll get into that later. I'm going to skip number two for now. I'm going to jump down to number three. Number three, we see that we have three points that are on this line, um, and then we have these two arrowheads. So this is um, just uh, just the line. <clears throat> so over here on the right, we're going to define what a line is. Um, a line, it does have one dimension, um, but it, it continues forever 
endeavor in two directions. So it's infinitely long and it has no width and it has no um, thickness to it. Um, a line is, so we're going to say collection of points. Oops. That's why we don't write in ink, see? Ugh, I hate pen. Anyways, a uh, collection of points with no width or thickness. Goes forever in two directions. <clears throat> so collection of points with no width or thickness goes forever in two directions. So if you can't read what I'm writing in these videos, that's okay. You can listen to me. So pause the video, um, replay it. Um, so if I write something that you can't read, <clears throat> um, just listen to it over again until you can copy it down. <clears throat> so um, when you see an object like that, um, well, how are we gonna how are we gonna name it? How are we gonna label it? Well, the way we do that with lines is there's a symbol for it, and the symbol is a line with two arrowheads, very similar to as it looks. And so we when we want to label it or name it <clears throat> um, using the not notation, we have this line symbol over any two points on that line. And it doesn't matter what order. So when I see this diagram here, there's a whole bunch of different names that I can call it. I, would, I could say that is line XY. I could say that. That's appropriate. I could also call it line XZ. I could also call it line ZY. These are all appropriate names for this one geometric figure. <clears throat> as long as you say line and then two points that are on that line. And it doesn't matter which two points or in which order, but as long as they're on that line. And so writing this, the notation, you would say this, but you would write the symbol for line. So that means line and then the two letters, x, y, or line x, z, or line z, y. And it's helpful if you write it as you say it, then you'll never mess up the notation. And by that I mean, let's say I wanted to call this line um, uh, something we haven't done, uh, ZX. That's an appropriate name. Well, as I say it, in my mind I'm thinking line, so I'm going to do the symbol for line. So that means line, and then ZX. You'll never mess up notation if you say it as you write it. <clears throat> um, I think that's all about lines. We defined it. Sweet, so let's move on. If I think of something else, we'll come back. Um, off to the side. <clears throat> Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go up here. There's two terms I want to talk about really quickly. Um, we have these three points x, y, and z. Now, since they're all on the same line, um, there's a special word for that geometric term, and that is collinear. There's two L's in that. Collinear. And that's points on the same line. We're going to get to it later, but there's also a term called coplanar. And that's objects or points on the same plane. Now in class you may hear me say um, this, this point is on the line or I may say the point is in the line. There's no difference between those. Uh, I'm going to go back and forth so don't let that confuse you. 
when I'm talking about coplanar objects. The reason I put objects is because, yeah, it can be, you can have coplanar points, but you also can have coplanar lines, coplanar angles, coplanar, I mean, so I just put objects. <clears throat> uh, but same thing, when, when an object is in or on that plane, that, that means the same thing. So don't let that confuse you if I say in class, um, if I switch that up. So. Um, or just ask for clarification and we'll, we'll, we'll take care of it. Um, we're going to move on to number four. I understand we still have skipped number two, but we'll go back to it. Uh, number four, this here is, um, is a line segment. It's a piece, it's a part, it's a section, it's a segment of a line. <clears throat> so whatever, however you want to, to write that. Uh, I'm going to put piece of line. And um, there's a segment has two endpoints. So there's a clear beginning and there's a clear end to segments. Um, <clears throat> segments you can measure because you can just, uh, like I said, there's a clear beginning, clear end, so you can measure that if you would like to. Now, um, how do we name these? Well, there's a symbol for segments. The symbol for line segments is, is just a simple bar or a line. There's no over, uh, no arrowheads. <clears throat> so what we're going to put underneath that symbol uh, is any is is the two endpoints. Is the two endpoints in any order? There's only two options. Um, you either say DE or ED. So, but the order does not matter. So, what you would say <clears throat> if you were naming this or identifying it is you would say line segment DE. Or you would say line segment, ED. Those are both appropriate names. It's both uh, appropriate ways to identify this geometric figure. You say what it is, it's a line segment, and then you identify, or you say, the two endpoints. Now the shorthand notation, which you would write, because I don't think we want to be writing this every single time um, when we're <clears throat> giving descriptions and things like that. Um, so the shorthand notation is use that symbol, which is a bar with no arrowheads, a line, and then underneath that, using your capital print letters, you would write the two endpoints. So in this case, this is segment DE. And again, just like with lines, <clears throat> if you say it and you write it as you say it, um, you can never mess this up. So again, this is segment ED. And so as I say it, I write it, and I, it will not be messed up. <clears throat> 